what's going on youtube it's your boy chris p and i'm back with another banger and in today's video i'm going to show you a behind the scenes of automated trader which i think is going to be the number one platform to turn your trading view alerts and make them automated it works for any broker any indicator on trading view and you're going to see how easy it is to set up i'm going to show you a little bit behind the scenes but everything that i'm going to show you today is not the final version hear me out this is not the final version everything should be looking a bit similar but there are some super big changes that they're going to be making this week and they wanted me to let you guys know all right you can still sign up for automated trader all you have to do is click join the waitlist add your email if you are a trusted signals lifetime member you will get early access and guys we're gonna get access to this this month everybody should have access if you're in the trusted signals lifetime membership so i believe right now they are approaching around a thousand lifetime members so the spots are filling up fast first and foremost what is automated trader how does it work i really want to go ahead and just show you guys what all of this is because it's definitely super super easy to use boom so as you guys can see here this is going to be a gray area um and like i said it's, it's supposedly not going to look anything like this but it shows you what you're actually trading and it's going to go ahead and give you a graph of course you know in a few months this thing is going to look crazy because obviously i trade a bunch of different pairs and it also keeps track of your manual trades as well and you're going to be able to go ahead and essentially just make your bots send them to your friends and they're going to be able to copy the same exact trades for you whether they're on an indicator or even if they're manual trades so that's going to be very very cool um and right here you're going to be able to see the gains for each specific webhook and account all right all this right here this is me back testing on demos and as you guys can see here we can change the name and you can also add any specific webhook, which I will show you what that looks like in a second, okay? Because what Automated Trader does is basically allows you the ability to go ahead and create a message, okay? As you guys can see this, I'm going to blur everything else out, but I'm going to show you guys this. You're going to be able to make it active or you're going to be able to make it public. Once you make it public, then people are going to be able to search for you up here, boom, and they can copy your trades, okay? Now, keep in mind, you're going to want to go ahead and copy webhook, add a message, edit message. And for me to show you exactly what this does, I have to show you TradingView. OK, so let's go ahead and go into TradingView. As you guys know, what the main thing that we're trying to accomplish here is we're trying to create bots using indicators that we already use, such as trusted signals. Now, how easy is automated trader to add? you're asking it's very very simple so as you guys can see here back in automated trader you're going to be able to go ahead and create your own webhook copy webhook you're going to want to go back to trading view boom you're going to just paste that there and now your webhook is set so anytime an alert comes out right here you're also going to be notified on telegram in your mt4 and an automated trader and then it's going to take the trades manually for this example we're going to go ahead and set up a buy alert so you're going to choose the indicator that you want for this uh, tutorial we're using trusted signals but remember it works with lux algo any other indicator you can even use it with a simple rsi indicator and i'm going to show you how you're going to be able to set that up in just a second so if you want a part two and you want me to show you guys a bit more of the behind the scenes and how to add your account add it to mt4 and all that stuff hit that like button because i need a part two to show you all the other features and what's so cool about it right so for this example we're just going to name this youtube btc because this is the actual you know just a test right and then message this is the most important thing so when we're looking at automated trader basically essentially this is the message that we're going to be creating to alert in trading view so for this example i'm going to show you what that looks like boom paste and it writes all of this here okay so this is exactly telling the robot what to do in mt4 into binance and all that stuff okay so keep in mind that imagine if you had to write this over and over and over and you're gonna make a mistake let's say you put a space right so this is why i say this is super super simple and for the sake of this right here guess what 
if if I wanted to end this video right here and just put create, boom, that's it, guys. YouTube BTC. Now, anytime this goes and gets sent and fired, guess what, guys? Now I'm taking trades automatically in my MT4. Literally, it's that simple. I just literally did it right in front of you. But now I'm going to show you how to create a message and what that message actually does. And this is where most of the features are in automated traders. So let's go ahead and click new. Okay. So for the webhook name, like we just said, I'm going to put YouTube BTC test right now for pair name. This is where it gets very, very important. And I think this is probably the most important thing. This works with any broker, but you're going to want to go ahead and make sure that you're putting the right broker name. So for this example, let's go ahead and go to my demo accounts on Hanko trade, right? And as you guys can see here, I have automated trader already added. So any alerts that get fired through trading view, it's going to go ahead and basically place the trades for me in this specific MT4. What I want to go ahead and show you is notice how this says right up here, BTC USD dot H K T. This is the exact verbiage that you're going to go ahead and want to go and put into automated trader. So you know how some brokers are different. Some have dot pro, some have the broker name, right? So for this one, okay, it was all capitals. BTC USD dot H K T. Now we're already hooked up. So now this webhook already knows which pair to go ahead and send the trade to. And this is why this is one of the most important pieces to the puzzle. Now, order type. For this example, of course, we're going to want to go ahead and just choose buy. But I want to show you all of this as well. So that way you know what you can, you know, do with this specific software because it's literally limitless, no pun intended here. So for buy limits and sell, sell limits and sell stops, it's going to ask you depending distance. So let's say your alert on trading view, go ahead and open up trading view, right? So let's say your alert gets fired right here, boom, but you want to go ahead and place it. So when this alert fires, you place an actual buy limit. So instead of entering the market right here, we're going to enter the market 10 pips behind this. So instead, you're going to be entering on a retest of a candle, which means less drawdown. And especially if you're already back testing this. And of course, if it doesn't come down to your entry, then you don't enter. And I'm going to show you something very cool about this in a second. So you're going to have the ability to use these alerts and then also turn them into automated robots to do specific things for you. So for this buy limit, let's go ahead and add, let's say 10 pips. Okay. Because this is going to be counting your pips. So when this alert fires buy limit and I want it to be 10 pips from this original entry and entry fire on trading view. Okay. Now self-explanatory entry position size. And this is why I say this is going to work for, um, prop firms, right? Because if you just want to trade one to 2% every single trade you can, or if you're a fixed lot trader, right. And you're used to just doing uh point tens, then you can do that as well. And it's only going to open point tens for you when you trade. Now, stop loss is also calculated by pips. Take profit is also calculated by pips. So let's say you wanted to go ahead and make a very simple strategy with, let's say even, um, 20 pips stop loss, right? And keep in mind that the risk percentage is going based upon all this information as well. So for example, it's only, let's say it does hit your stop loss. It's only risking Okay. If you have percentage base, it would only be risking 2%. So it's literally going to do this all manually for you. Okay. So let's say your stop loss is 20 pips and let's say your take profit is a hundred pips right now. Keep in mind that you're going to have the ability to also add trailing stops, break evens, time filters, hedging, max spread and slippage. And these are all different filters that literally can help you win a trade, but also stop you from losing big because of the simple fact you can go ahead and now put trailing stops, right? And trailing stops position in pips. So for example, let's say your take profit is at hundred pips, but you want your trailing stop. Okay. Trailing stop to start once you get into 10 pip and then your trailing stop distance, you want it five pips behind where the price is moving. All right. And trailing step is pretty much the same thing, except the distance between the price and your actual stop loss 
for me, I don't necessarily fill this out. I just fill out trailing stop start and trailing stop distance. You can also set up your partials and break even. And this is where as well, something that I use. So for example, keep in mind, you may want to have some more breathing room on your trade. It all depends on what strategies you're using. Partial profit is a big thing. Okay, to be able to close up to 100% or 50% of your trade. So for example, partial profit percentage. So when do you want your profit to actually activate? I want this to activate in 10 pips. Okay, so once you get into 10 pips, you're going to go ahead and activate your break even. So now it's moving your stop loss to break even. So now you're already good to go. So you're not going to lose this trade as long as you get past 10 pips. Once it's in 10 pips, you're moving your stop loss to break even. You're also moving your trailing stop, right? Start. And basically, you're going to either grab five pips there or you're going to go ahead and close 50% of your, your actual trade. Partial close target. Let's say you have 100 pips. You want your partial profit to close in 50 pips. So meaning as soon as it makes halfway there of your actual trade, you're going to want to go ahead and close 50% at 50 pips. Now, keep in mind that if it does retrace, what's going to end up happening? If the market retraces, it's going to either hit your trailing stop or activate your partial close. Now, stop loss into profit. Okay. And this is the same exact thing almost as the stop loss up here, except it's literally going to move your stop loss. So now it's not going to be 20 pips negative. You can move this to stop loss in profit and you can change this to 10 as well. Right now, time filter. Time filter is very cool as well because, for example, let's say we only trade on Wednesdays or our strategy is only good on Wednesdays. Now you're going to be able to go ahead and set this up. I want this to be from 12 o'clock and I want this to end the next day at uh, 12 o'clock. So now you're going to be able to go ahead and only take the trades that are on Wednesdays between this time and this time. And of course, if you wanted to go ahead and, you know, add more times, right? Or let's say you only trade market open. So you're going to want to go ahead and just put eight to 10. Now it's going to only trade any alert that fires market open around that time, right? Now hedging. Hedging is basically the same exact thing, but what it is is when you're opening buys and sells versus each other or opening multiple positions. And this is why another reason why I think that this is literally going to be amazing because you're pending order duration, right? So let's say you only want this trade to be valid for 10 minutes. Let's say you have a buy limit and you only want it valid for 10 minutes, meaning the alert gets fired. It doesn't come to your entry within 10 minutes. It's going to automatically close this order. This order is not going to get fulfilled because if it does not hit your buy limit within 10 minutes, it's just going to close that position. And obviously you can do this by hours, month, days, etc. And then max slippage and spread. That's pretty much um, a given as well. You know, obviously every single broker has a specific spread. Let's say that spread was, you know, 10 pips. It's not going to take any trade that's over 10 pips. Because obviously, if you have all of this in place, right, 10 pips, and you're only going for maybe 10, 15 pips per order, those 10 pips can be big, and it's not going to enter the trade. So obviously, you have to look at what brokers you're thinking about. And then slippage is kind of the same thing, except it's between where your orders are getting placed. Because let's say this gets fired, and then the market moves, you know, 20, 30 pips. You don't want to take that trade anymore because it's not a valid trade. So for this, you can always just have it at max 10, maybe five, depending on what your broker is, you know. Um, and then once you put save, boom, it's going to go ahead and create a new webhook. Literally how simple it is. It's going to be able to turn your indicators into specific trades. This is why I say this thing is going to be amazing because the simple fact is it's so many different ways that you can use this. So many different indicators that you can use this with, right? So many different time frames, And I want to show you a bit more. But like I said, I want you guys to go ahead and soak in this knowledge, right? I have another video that's going to be releasing very soon. And if you guys want to see a part two where I show you guys how to actually add this, add this to your MT4, right? And all that good stuff. It literally takes two seconds. I can literally show you guys right now, but I'm going to show you in the next video. So that way it's straight to the point. I hope you guys like this. I hope you guys enjoy. Remember, Automated Trader will be available for lifetime members of Trusted Signals. If you just want to wait for the actual 
the actual release, then all you have to do is go to automatedtrader.com, click join waitlist, add your email, and boom, we're good to go. Until the next video, guys, I'm out. Peace.